I have one hell of a surprise for you guys, other than Isaiah up in the rafters. <laughs> He's not allowed to be up there. This was sent to me by a guy who is one of the realest people I now know because what's inside this box is worthy of this weird ass YouTube hype. Predates me, this is beyond my level of notoriety. <laughs> this is truly an inspiration. And so back in 1991, Mazda did something absolutely amazing and was the first import, specifically Japanese import, to win Maman with the 787B as most of you guys may know. What I didn't know is two things. One is that the 787B was turned into a little model for about 55 Mazda executives and people relevant to the project. And they were made in some sort of scale size. But not only that, they actually, coincidentally, made something just like we did with the Hunicorn Blood. So these are little baby, you know, Valvoline VR1 full synthetic 2050s, right? Well, Mazda did the same thing with the oil out of the 787B, the number 55. Holy shit. Wow. I was given one of the 55. In 91, I would have been in first grade, so I'd been seven, eight. Obviously, I didn't even know about this level of motorsports. What this car stood for is clearly what uh, resonates with a lot of us car guys. Mazda's whole never give up, against all odds, you know, all of that. The weird ass rotary engine to begin with. What's really special to me is when he reached out about this, he was like, hey, there's a one with bent antennas in shipping. And I love weird things. I love unique things. And so I don't know what he meant by that, but he said Using that those? I've sat in the car and I didn't even know that there were antennas on top of it. Maybe they took those off for shipping. I'm personally very thankful for this. He would even think to, of me for this. And of course, I try to carry on the spirit, right, of, of four rotors. That's beautiful. That is incredible. So it's that is one of 55 models and I don't see anything Oh, I see the little squiggle on the thing. That that means nothing to me in terms of like I love the the uniqueness, like the oh, story. I see the bend. Yeah, the little little zig zigzag. I didn't even know this existed. So cool. Yeah. I like the way they did it without the colors and. Yeah. So they etched in boss, yeah. the renown, the number fifty five charge, and then what's really cool is on the other side, they have which. Kind of carry we carry on the same spirit they have ngk somewhere down here i don't know how to pronounce the other guys names but you can even see the three drivers names there now i know johnny uh this is herbert a bear maybe I'm, I'm not sure he's british and then the other two i think german and french or some, something like that they're, they're all european had a mitsu dunlop all the different brands just gently etched into it <laughs> isn't that insane Did he said that's bronze or something yeah pewter or bronze it's heavy Oh yeah? Yeah. I mean, I've sat in this car and it is almost this small in real life too. So it's probably like half scale. It was so cool because he had sent me the article first of like, hey, these are, this is something super rare. I remember you sent that to us. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and so I was excited by the first half of the article, which is that they drained the oil after the race and gave it to only a handful of Mazda executives. I'm not as interested in that because my oil's better. <laughs> <laughs> oil has definitely improved, but this, this is effectively, to me, priceless. This is not just a collectible. This is on a whole different level because it's not like you can remake it. Like it doesn't. No, it, it, you said one of fifty-five. Right? One of one of fifty-five. Congratulations on joining Monsters again. Yeah. <laughs> so I have the corner office, uh, the janitor. Friday, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you can get stock options with this. Right? Yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this little montage of all the detail that is on this car. Mm.